In this video, I'm going to go over how to get started with Microsoft's Windows Terminal. So here we have a brand spanking new VM. I'm going to start off by installing Chocolatey. And this video will only focus on Windows Terminal. It's just that I like to use Chocolatey to install everything. So that's how I'm going to do it. I know the instructions from Microsoft are to go to the marketplace, but I'm not going to do that. All right. So now let's go to PowerShell prompt. Run as administrator. Okay. So I'm going to, I've copied the command to install chocolatey and then run it in here. Okay, looks like it's installed. Let me clear the screen here. And the package name is Microsoft Windows Terminal. So Microsoft-Windows-Terminal. And the reason I like to use Chocolatey is, or I'm gonna use it for this install is because it will look at whatever I don't have installed and it'll install it for me. So any pre prerequisite dependencies for the Windows Terminal, it's going to install them for me. We're going to install Git, and I think that's minimum requirement for this. Okay, great. Looks like it installed uh, a few updates along with uh, the Windows Terminal and Git. And I do plan on using all my posh on this VM, so I'm going to install that as well. Now we can install the Oh My Posh module. Okay, I complained that I couldn't find Git, so I had to refresh the environment. And import my Oh My Posh. So now if I type in uh, set prompt, we should get a prompt. Yep. No, it looks kind of funny because we don't have the power line uh, fonts installed. No problem, we'll install those as well. And if you remember from my previous video, I have a fonts installation script for that. All right, so it's a one liner, so I'm gonna run that. Okay, looks like that has finished. Let's modify our PowerShell profile. Let's uh, import the modules. Okay, so I'm importing the Posh Git and the Oh My Posh modules and I'm setting the theme to Paradox. I'm gonna save that. All right, let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And I'm running it as administrator. All right, I'm gonna set the ex set ex execution policy here. Last time some people got all worked up in my previous video because I set this to bypass, even though I made it clear that this is my VM. Um, but that's okay, we'll just do remote side this time. So up here it's saying it cannot load because scripts are disabled by the system. So let me close this, let's try it out again. You know, there's always people complaining about stuff.
Okay, looks like our prompt looks okay overall. Here we have our little symbol. It looks like we're missing something here. And that's okay, because that'll bring us to the next thing. So now that it's running and we have our PowerShell prompt using oh my posh, um, you'll notice that you're given tabs up here. So I can open up another terminal and another one. So I can open up as many as I want. But if you click on the little uh, arrow pointing down, you can see what types of prompts you have. And from what I read on the documentation, it basically automatically detects what prompts you have available. And it adds them to this list. So for example, missing is WSL because I haven't installed WSL on this VM and I probably won't be able to because this is a VM running on a Mac and nested VMs for some reason are not allowed so I won't be able to run WSL in here and that's okay but if you did you should see it here so how do you customize this you're supposed to go to settings and you're presented with a JSON file that you're supposed to modify so for those of you that are not comfortable with this you might have uh, little hard time with this but they do provide links to the documentation on how to do that so for example here's one so here they give you all the documentation on how to modify this how to customize the settings, colors, key bindings. So one of the things I do want to modify is at least change the font. And so you can see that here there's a section called profiles and then there's defaults and a list. And this list is what you see when you go back to your terminal over here and you click on the drop down menu. Okay, so you saw that I downloaded a bunch of fonts using my script to download all the Powerline fonts. So what I will do here is I'm gonna add another section here, right under command line in the PowerShell section. I'm gonna add font face. Okay, so now I've added this font here. Okay, now I'm going to save it, and I think it automatically sets it. Oh, I might have forgotten something here. So yeah, it does automatically update it. Oh, I forgot the comma. So as soon as I save it, we should see it take effect, and it did. Oops. Did it freeze on me here? Okay, sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened with my VM, but it uh, froze. I guess Windows 10 doesn't like to run right under Mac OS. But anyway, now we can see that we have our prompt, our Oh My Posh prompt. I already know it's working. Let's go into this test directory and do a git init. And we can see that the font looks correct now. We are seeing the symbols. So let's do something else over here. I don't use the command prompt at all. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't wanna see it, don't care about it. And I don't ever use it. So now that I saved it, it still shows it. Okay, fine. I thought the change was supposed to be instantaneous. still there it's still adding it there okay I mean if you're a PowerShell user why would you ever want to use a command prompt 
I'd like to hear somebody explain to me why you would ever need to use a command prompt if you're a PowerShell user. There's absolutely zero need for it. But I don't know, school me, I guess. So one thing that I'm noticing is if I run it as administrator, I don't see any indication here that's running as administrator. Oh, here it is, okay. I missed it earlier, I guess. So it does show you that you're well, it doesn't constantly remind you of that, so I guess I have to. It must be something you have to customize. So there's a section here called key bindings, and you know, uh, that's if you want to create any shortcuts, I believe. Um, it already has some built in, like copy and paste. So the copy command is control C, the paste command is Control V. Uh, if you want to search for something, you hit Control F, or actually Control Shift F. Let's try some of those. Control Shift F. Okay. Okay. So nice. It has a little search. Cool. Uh, control Shift D to open a new pane, and there's different modes. There's split auto, which makes an open pane in the direction that provides the most surface area, or split mode. Duplicate makes the new pane use the focused pane's profile. Okay, so we can do Control Alt Shift D. So we have this here, Control Alt Shift D. Oh, here we go. It's Alt Shift D. Sorry. Okay, so now we have two PowerShell prompts. Alt Shift D. And then put one in the bottom. So I presume if I go over here, I do Alt Shift D. Put one down here. So now we have four prompts. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. And then let's go back over here. So if we go into the documentation and we go to this terrible browser terminal panes okay so you can split okay so alt shift plus to create a new vertical pane okay so vertical pane is alt shift plus horizontal pane is alt shift negative if you hold the alt key you can use your arrow keys to move the focus between panes Okay, so let's go back over here. So let's start off from this bottom one here. So Alt Shift and, or Alt Arrow, sorry. Alt Arrow Up. And you can see I'm up here now. Alt Arrow Left. I'm on the left one. Alt Arrow Down. And this one here. Let's do a Start Sleep. So I just want to see what it does is okay so if it's busy even if a terminal is busy you can still switch between them okay so we can switch between them still alt shift right le down left huh okay so interestingly Oh yeah, it does well. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty nice actually. And like I said, I've never used Windows Terminal, so I'm new to this. Uh, I installed this. I wanted to make this video because uh, a buddy of mine suggested after he saw my previous video and uh, I decided to try it out. This seems like a little bit more lightweight economy, but again, I haven't tried anything else. Like I don't, I haven't tried it with WSL. I'll try it on one of my other Windows 10 machines that where I have Windows 10 installed as a main OS where I do have WSL and uh, I'll probably be making a follow-up video to this as I customize it further um, I'd like to hear from you guys on what your experience with Windows Terminal is mm -hmm.